Welcome everybody, this is Randall for Flomerton Famous. Today we're out here at the Fig Orchard and we're talk gonna talk about the Lebanese Yellow. Now, my thoughts on the Lebanese Yellow. I've had this fig tree in ground here for about five years that we've, that we've lived here. It went in the same time as all the other ones, so I got Chicago Hardy down there that's um, <clears throat> about eight to eight to ten foot tall, somewhere in between. LSU's, uh, they're doing good down there. Lebanese Yellow has been kind of struggling down here on the end. And uh, whenever I first got this fig, before we moved here five years ago, I had it in ground in my old place. And it had a few figs on it, and I was really happy with the performance at the time. Since we've been here, we've had it in ground here. It's really not performed very well for me in this one spot. We're talking about only four foot tall, nice little shape on it. But um, <clears throat> overall, it only grows just a couple of inches a year. And I don't know if it's the soil location where I'm at. I'm in just a little bit of a valley here, so a low spot. So if we got a gully wash or rain, it may hold water here uh, for a few hours before it would absorb, absorb into the ground. Before we moved here, there was an old fence row here, and we had a bulldozer come in and, and clean out this fence row. So when we did that, we also subsoiled uh, to get all the roots out because there were a lot of um, a lot of vines in here, and I wanted to get the roots out of the vines. And I think we had turned our topsoil down under and got really mixed in with some clay. So overall, I may have some really poor performing soil in this spot but down towards the end where my other fig trees are, they seem to be doing a little bit better. Well, down there is where the end of the fence row was at, and we didn't have to uh, severely tear up the ground down there like we did here in order to get these, uh, these vines under control. So that may lend to why this tree here is struggling. And I've, I've got Adelito's purple right here behind the camera, and it's about the same size, but it loads up with figs every year. Lebanese yellow doesn't. And I said in a previous video that if this fig didn't perform this year, that we we're gonna get rid of it. I'm still on the fence whether I'm gonna keep it or not. I'm not sure. But as soon as I had said that in the video, I looked over and we had some figs. I've got three, four, five figs here. <clears throat> and then I got three, four figs up here. So less than 10 figs on this entire bush for the season. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one. This is the first fig of the season. It's just a nice big yellow figs. It's typical if you have a big, or a, it's typical if you know what, if you're familiar with the, uh, the white figs or the yellow figs, they usually get really big. It's been several years since I've eaten this fig. I don't remember how it tastes. So I brought my knife out <clears throat> and we're gonna cut this fig open today and we're gonna take a look. So I'll go ahead and slice right through this thing and open it up. So you're gonna see the same time I do. Well, that looks pretty decent. Um, I wouldn't say there's anything about this that's gonna blow me away, but um, it's nice and soft. Let's see how it tastes. It's got a little, lot of the, uh, the white latex zirconium uh, flavor to it right now. So I'm gonna take some of this peel off of it and maybe try to get rid of the flavor of the, uh, of the peel. We're gonna test just this, just the fig without all this peeling on here to see if maybe that makes it taste a little bit better. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Well, definitely a much better tasting fig without the skin on it. And um, I've got one more ripening up here. I could probably pick it now. I'm gonna give it another day. And I haven't decided whether I'm gonna get rid of this or not. Still kind of leaning on it. I think a better fig would be a Scotch Yellow, or not Scotch Yellow. Scotch Yellow is okay, I've got Scotch Yellow. It's one of my favorites as far as white figs but LSU Gold is probably one of the best tasting uh, yellow figs, in my opinion. 
if you were going to have just one uh, honey fig out of all the ones that I've tasted in the past, uh, Scott's, um, there I go with the Scott's again, but LSU Gold is what I would recommend talking about. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this little quick video. If you have Lebanese Yellow, let me know how it performs for you and uh, what you think about uh, the fruits that you're getting off of it. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. When we're planting, we genuinely learn to work with what happens here. And for those at home, don't worry about following exactly what we have here. Use your own spaces to your own advantages and make your own masterpieces. You can do it. And don't forget to keep growing, keep building, and always keep adventuring. And together, we're Flomaton Famous.